Okay, you want to take it away? Okay, now we're going to do another video reveal. Mm -hmm. This is the f first one. Okay, I've never heard of this before. This is definitely a... Uh, oh, it's there. These are... These are, I believe, uh, Inuit. An alien invasion in the Arctic. Yeah, but cool. So they have... Uh, they're all indigenous actresses. And it's from Canada. Yep, I should I kind of... I think that was kind of implied. Very cool. So that's a new one. Yes. Haven't taken this out for a few months. Oh, yeah. Did you uh, ever get around to watching this? No, not yet. Oh, I, I really feel bad about that movie because it had a lot of really good potential. The trailer is one of the best things I've ever seen, but um, it just did not come together. It doesn't mean it's not a surprise, though. Wait a minute. There are good surprises and bad surprises, so I think it's still a surprise. Okay, so I want to say that it's a surprise that you took it out, but it's basically like Liam Neeson is going to be playing the, his his role from Taken for the rest of his life, which is pretty sad. Yeah, when's the last time you took out a purge? Uh... I haven't taken out any purges. Oh, okay. Then I guess that counts as a surprise. Although, again, the purge concept, they don't ever really get to the point of it. What's this? Cool. People from uh, Scandinavian countries, it's argued do the best detective and uh, murder stories of anybody. And that's pretty much, uh, that's a good argument for it. So that isn't the one with Channing Tatum? Or isn't that one on Netflix? No, Channing Tatum was in G.I. Joe Visa Cobra. Oh, okay. How many uh, G.I. Joe movies have there been? I really haven't kept track of it. The Visa Cobra, uh, the... The sequel to Rise of Cobra, and this is the origins of Snake Eyes. Interesting. I never could follow all the G.I. Joe characters. None of them are as iconic as, uh, Transformers. What's this? Oh, okay. This is a historical thing. Yeah. Now these last three, I haven't also haven't also taken them out for a few months. Yeah, I remember that one. But yes, uh... I haven't taken down Annabelle in ages. Is Annabelle the doll or the girl? The doll. Okay. Okay, yeah. So there's the reason that when I get confused about which uh, which online thrill, like there was the one that we were gonna see M missing. Yeah, I was thinking, is that connected to this? I think so. Okay. See, it's very hard to like. It, it's hard to tell whether something's in a franchise or not. That's a bit of a bad sign. But yeah, those qualify. So I think we figured out the the the. I think we figured out the um, the way to make sure that they're all surprises now. Yep. And that was easy as soon as we figured out the rules. 
Like so out of, out of my 11, which one do you not want me to watch first? Um, Don't watch Wonder Woman. You'll be disappointed. Obviously. Okay, which one do you want me to watch first? Um, I would. I want to see what's going on with that uh, with that uh, one for Michael Fassbender, the snowman. You do you realize it's it's about like killer snowmen? Wait. You... Wait 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 wait. The snowmen are killers. I... It's not. It's not a guy who is pretending to be a snowman or something. I have no idea. Because if it's actual killer snowmen, then that crows into Calvin and Hobbes territory. I don't think uh, Attack of the Killer Deranged Mutant Monster Snow Goons. <laughs> Starring Michael Fassbender. Frosty the Murdering Snowman. Although, you have to admit that Frosty is would be kind of terrifying if it wasn't happy music. Right? Yeah, you said you said you would take a, a hair hair dryer to it. Yeah, a hair dryer at the very least. I mean, I could probably I couldn't get a flamethrower. I would use a hair dryer. <laughs>